Hello, so I've got a lot of chisels. I made some chisel racks. They go on the window, but they didn't quite work for a couple of reasons. One, I made some shutters on the window, so they had to go. And the second, some of the chisels don't sit properly. The ones with square bases are fine, but the ones with the more rounded used to just fall over in there and that got annoying. I desperately need to get this collection on the wall, so I'm gonna make something new. I need a base plate for them to go onto, and what I have is some three by twos. It's too thick for what I need, but I'm gonna get the table saw out and just rip it down the middle. I want this rack to go on the back wall, but this bit of wood is too long at the moment. So, let's get this measured and then cut down. Okay, let's test it. Oh, it's gonna fit perfectly, but I hate the kind of blonde pine look, but what I have is some matte black chalkboard paint. So I'm gonna get a coat of that on it. Whilst I wait for this all to dry, I can get on with the next step. And that's how we're gonna actually hold the chisels in place. And what I have, is some veg tan leather. This is 19 mil thick. I'm gonna screw it to the top of the wood with spacing for the chisels to slip into. So I need to work out the spacing. Now my widest chisel is about three and a half centimeters, but actually that's about what all the handles are. So taking into consideration the screws themselves, I think I'm gonna go for a five centimeter spacing. I've got a set of calipers. I'm going to set these to five centimeters apart. Then I can take my leather, get these set on it, make a mark and walk them along until I've got a row of marks with a five centimeter spacing. Now I can't just screw through the leather. I need a pilot hole first. So I have my punch and I'm going to punch a 2.5 mil hole on those little marks I've just made. This strap now needs attaching to the piece of wood. I'm gonna do it along the top edge because then when I have a more of a flat designed chisel, that will sit on the top of the wood. Now to get this attached, I've got some nice little brass screws. These have got a nice big head on them so they won't pull through the leather. So with it lined up against the top edge, I'm gonna grab my awl, mark out where the hole needs to go and get these brass screws put in. And I'm only gonna put them in about halfway because actually they're longer than this piece of wood and they're gonna go all the way through and then into the wall behind. I could hear some cracking on that first one. So I've got a little pilot drill. And I'm just gonna drill some holes before I get those screws in. That feels better. I should have known to do that in the first place. I'm really happy with how my workshop space is evolving at the moment. And spending time in here really does help with my mental health. And that brings us quite nicely to today's paid partner for the video, BetterHelp. I actually got into woodworking as a way of escaping my thoughts and as a distraction from everything else that was going on. It was great having a creative outlet. And I was enjoying making things and creating YouTube videos. Woodworking became my main focus and I decided to go full time doing it. Thinking that a change of career was what I needed to make me happy. I ended up moving to the middle of nowhere, away from all my friends and family. 
in my head, I thought that I didn't need anyone else. And having a workshop and all my tools around me would be enough. But although I loved woodworking, I was actually quite lonely. Not having anyone to talk to, I thought that changing my job would solve all my problems and it would make me happy. But actually, it wasn't quite that simple. If I'd have spoken to someone about how I was feeling at the time, maybe I'd realised all that sooner. BetterHelp connects you with a credentialed therapist who is trained to listen and give you help and unbiased advice. My favourite part is that you can do it all from your phone or your computer. Via phone call, video chat or messaging, how we feel most comfortable. As an introvert myself, the fact that I can do it all from the safety of my home or the sanctuary of my workshop really appeals to me. You just go to their website, there's a link down below this video, answer a few questions and BetterHelp will match you with a professional therapist, usually within 48 hours. To let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist who can support you from the comfort of your own home or workshop, visit betterhelp.com forward slash Badger Workshop or choose Badger Workshop during sign up for a discount for your first month. I like the look of brass screws, but you really need to put them in by hand. And this has taken quite a long time, but last one. All the screws in, so we could, or should perhaps get it to the wall now, but I've got another thing I wanna get on here first, and that's these scissor style lights. I want to get up. Because these are supposed to be mounted with cables running through the walls, there's nowhere to put a cable. So what I'm going to do is mount them to some blocks of wood. I want the wood to kind of mirror the shape of these lights. So I'm just going to draw around a little round item to get the curves. Then I can get it cut out on the bandsaw and give it all a sand. These blocks of wood are gonna need three holes drilled in. Two, so I can actually just screw it to the wall, and one to feed the cable through. The cable is gonna need somewhere to go on the back. So I've got a little gouge, and I'm just gonna cut a little channel for the cable to thread through. I'm gonna paint these brackets so that they match the chisel rack. The paint's dry on the wood, so now I can get the brackets for the lights screwed onto it. And get it all wired up. These wooden plaques now need screw into the wall, and then I can get the light fitting put on its bracket.
Okay, that's the two lights there. Trouble is now we have cables that are gonna be in the way of our chisel rack. So what I'm gonna do is just get this offered up and mark out where the cable is gonna go on it. Cut down on those lines and then grab a chisel and remove the waste to create a little channel for the cable. I think we can now get this into place finally. So let's get it here, make sure our cables go in our little slots and then I'm gonna get a big screw in at each end just to lock it into place. Then I can wind in all these brass screws fully. Ah, it's all up. So now I need to get the chisels on there. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just have a little salt out and get them all in order before I actually start getting them on the wall. Some of these are in a the right state because every time I have a boot sale and I see a chisel for one pound, I buy it and it goes in the box with all the others. So uh, maybe seeing these on the backdrop will actually motivate me to clean them all up. That is everything up now, all the chisels in place. So. Last job, I think. Just get these bulbs put in here. And let's see how it looks. Oh yeah, they're nice. Ah. I think I'm pretty pleased with how that all looks. I'm pretty pleased with these improvements. So you might have seen when these chisels went in, first of all, they're pretty tight in there, but just a few pulls in and out and it just loosens up and the leather will kind of form to them. So that's kind of how I want it. I mean, straight away, that's already started to stretch a little and it goes in and out nicely. The lights are nice. I like these, they're cool. Uh, they're just something to play with really. And they were pretty cheap. Um, yeah, it's just, I like these little improvements to the workshop. As I say, this is my sanctuary. This is the place I come out to, to relax and enjoy myself, plus obviously make the videos. So anything I can do to make it a nicer space for me to be in, I like. Also, I think this is going to be a cool backdrop for the video. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for my patrons, and please subscribe for more videos. <music>